It's not very often I'm really surprised by something, but I'm very surprised by this machine. So I got this in particular at a very cheap price. It had obviously been used previously in a long time ago and then sat somewhere, not in the best place, but I could tell because of the decals having been worn that this machine had been, some people would call loved and other people would call very heavily used. But what was interesting to me about this machine, and you can hear it run later, um, is it lives up to a comment that someone made quite some time ago. And <clears throat> the comment was that straight stitch machines can only do straight stitch, but these really old antiques do it extremely well. And they're absolutely right. That's what surprised me about this machine the most. It really is perfectly balanced stitches. As good as any of my much newer machines, my featherweight, any of them. I'm really, really, really surprised about how good the quality of these stitches is. So that surprised me. It's a it's an old beastie. Um, I wanted the machine because I already have one which is transverse shuttle but the other one I had which was just a project for me to see about if I could actually refurbish a machine. I've never actually done that before and um, I wanted to see if I could uh, find a machine that was a little quieter to use. So. This one is definitely a lot quieter, and I thought for an adventure I would use it now that I've cleaned it, oiled it and everything, and um, cleaned the oil off it, because once you do a service like that, they tend to leave marks all over everything, so I cleaned it properly, and as you can see, it sewed this. I haven't repressed this after sewing it, um, but uh, it's got no oil marks anywhere, which is good, so that's my current project I'm working on. But I wanted to see what this was actually like to sew on, and you know, it's a very pleasant machine to sew on. I was completely surprised. So it ticks the box that I have a transverse shuttle machine, which I wanted to explore more about, because I've tried vertical shuttles, but never tried a transverse shuttle before. But this one particularly, it has a hand crank as well. It can be um, treadled, so it's connected to the treadle at the moment. So that was very exciting for me to be able to try this out. Damon commence ses activités avec un partenaire très obéissant. Il nous donne le mannequin dans le magasin. Il l'utilise pour se masturber jusqu'au jour où sa grand-mère décide de le prendre au pied dans un trottoir et insiste pour qu'il sorte de la rame. Pendant ses soirs de congé, il explore le milieu homosexuel de Milwaukee en visitant des boutiques érotiques et des salons fréquentés par des hommes à la recherche d'aventures sexuelles anonymes. Pour s'assurer l'obéissance de ses partenaires, il leur offre des poissons auxquels il ajoute des sommifères. Une fois son partenaire inconscient, il s'annonce très vite. Il écoute les battements de son cœur et les bruits sur l'estomac. Mais ses aventures prennent fin brusquement lorsqu'un homme, victime d'une surdose, passe une semaine à l'hôpital. Dans l'un est même chassé de l'établissement sur ses jours. C'est alors qu'il découvre les barres vides de Milwaukee. Le territoire qui va bientôt devenir son terrain de chasse préféré. Jeffrey Dunner a presque 30 ans lorsqu'il décide de démarrer à Milwaukee. Il habite sa grand-mère pendant qu'il explore les barres vides de la ville. Personne ne se doute que le jeune homme solitaire ou d'un jour est sur le point de devenir un psychopathe et un meurtrier en série. Il aurait beaucoup de plaisir à contrôler son petit univers sans que personne ne se doute de quelque chose. Il est le maître de son propre vie. Il est un homme qui est à n'importe quel point sans qu'on le soupçonne d'un peu plus de l'étonne. C'est pour cette raison que le petit est avec sa petite charge. Il a du succès dans le bar de l'eau. Beaucoup de gens nous ont dit qu'il était considéré comme un bel homme dans la communauté. Plusieurs le trouvaient très séduisant. 
Charmaine. Marina. 